Welcome back. Well, we have now completed two of the ages of uh, Uru, and that means we're halfway through the content of the original Uru. Of course, we still have uh, the two expansions after that, so we're nowhere near the end of the, this series of videos. So now let's visit the third age. First we'll check this journal to see what it has to say about it. Third age uses this symbol, and currently I don't know yet what that means. The age is called Kadish Talisa. Only the way a man is when he is hidden is how he is. A shallow glimpse can deceive. Look deep, ponder, and recognize all that is hidden. Okay, that's uh, another quote from the same source as the others. And again, this age, much like Teladon, is also about things that are hidden, but not in quite the same way. It's also apparently about finding out the truth of a man, which we can only know when he is alone. Well, we'll see what that means. It's not this one. Yes, this is the pillar for Kadesh Talisa. You see the symbol on the top of the pillar is very similar to the one in the book. So let's link there. Kadesh Talisa is probably the most challenging age in the game. Not only do you have to deal with some pretty complex puzzles, but also with some pretty obscure clues to those puzzles. The beginning of the age is visually the most disappointing, I think. It's supposed to be a forest, but... I don't know. If to me it could just as easily be a cave. But it's supposed to be a forest, anyway. There are some leaves on the ground and leaves falling down, so that at least looks like a forest. We see at the beginning we can go uh, either left or right. We'll go uh, left first. There appears to be some ruins of uh, some old structures here. More ruins. There appears to be something in the center. But there also appears to be a journey cloth right there. So let's go there first. Careful not to uh, fall into <laughs> the gap. And there's the journey cloth. So that's one already. We're off to a good start. Oh. I'm getting stuck behind the pillars a lot. Okay, so now let's, let's look what's in the middle here. First thing we notice is this. It's a viewer, much like the ones uh, we've seen before. And inside are a number of rings with all kinds of metal protru protrusions coming through. And by using these controls we can rotate some of the rings. You notice that this one rotates only one ring, this one rotates two of them, and this one rotates three simultaneously.
On the other side, there's a linking book. Let's see where that leads. It's apparently a DRC approved linking book. Now, following the pattern of linking books we've seen in ages so far, this probably leads to somewhere in Dunny. Most likely in Agura. And that is, in fact, the case. We are now in what is known as the Kadish Gallery. Kadish is the owner of the aged Kadish Tolisa. He was apparently an important rich guildsman. And he's also going to be important during Path of the Shell, despite the fact that he's been dead for several hundred years. We go this way, we find we're stuck, we cannot cross these barriers. So there's nothing to be found on this side. Well, let's look around in the gallery itself. There are several of these stained glass displays. And these are all clues to various puzzles in Kadish Talisa. This particular one looks a lot like the uh, pattern we saw through the imager. There's three of these patterns here. Now, since we're going to need that, let's make use of the fact that we have the full key functionality and take a shot of it. In the center is a linking book back to Kadish Talisa, where we came from. Well, let's look at some of the other stained uh, glass displays. Really isn't very clear yet what these are for, because we haven't seen the puzzles yet. Not since it's a foregone conclusion that we'll need all of them. Let's take some more pictures. On this side, it's not the stained glass display that's important, but it's these rotating blocks. We see that each block has three symbols on it, and there's numbers below them. This means that each of the symbol symbols is associated with a number, and we're going to need that information later. Of course, in actuality, you would need to take uh, a shot of this, uh, the blocks in each position so you have all of the symbols. I'm just going to take one uh, shot and then refer back to it uh, later just to point out where the, the puzzle is for this clue. And I'm not going to take three shots to get all of the all of the symbols. I want to point out this music. It's well, probably my favorite music in the entire game. Perhaps even my favorite music in the entire Myst series. And that's pretty high praise. Another stained glass display, which we'll take a picture of. And there's one more left. No clue what this is all what this all means yet. The only one we can actually do something with right now is this one with these symbols. Because that looks like the imager we saw. Okay, well, let's use this linking book to head back to Kadish Talisa. There we are. 
And now that we've done that, let's look through this uh, viewer again. And it's going to be our goal to get this to match up to one of these uh, patterns we saw here. And it's actually the top one that we're going to need for the first imager, but we'll do that in the next video.